Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how Google AI Studio can help you. Google AI Studio is a tool which you can use to share your screen and have Google AI Studio talk to you and assist you in different tasks like if you need help with using Microsoft Excel or if you need help in uh, installing VirtualBox or help with um, using Ubuntu Linux or something like that. So let's see how it does and I'm going to show you how to use it and let's do something with Ubuntu Linux. So the website you need to go to is aistudiogoogle.com so just Google for AI Studio and you should find it and you do need to have a Google account and log in. So now I'm logged into the Google AI Studio website and you need to agree to some terms and then you should be good to go and here you can select the model so you can use Gemini 2.0 flashed experimental and there are some different models which are, are text only models I think but you do need to select this uh, to, to get the audio because it's really a lot um, easier when you're sharing your screen if you can hear the Google AI Studio talk to you you can select the voice I've just been using Puck now so to start um sharing your screen screen click on stream real time and then share your screen but before you do this just make sure you don't uh share any sensitive content and i think the terms and conditions say that they can use your what you share uh, for training the ai and stuff like that so um like for using help on using linux or ubuntu and stuff like that or excel uh sure it's it it should be fine, but I wouldn't maybe ask for help with my banking details or something like that. So anyhow, now let's press on share your screen, and here we can select uh, entire screen, and then I'm selecting this screen here, and pressing on share. Uh, okay, can I see, see that you're using. You have selected a screen. I see three separate video recording files on the stream real-time interface. Is there anything specific you would like to discuss about it? Uh, okay, hold on. I'll share a different screen because I, I need some help from you with uh, VirtualBox and with Ubuntu. So just hang on. All right, it sounds like you're gonna share a different screen because you need help with VirtualBox and Ubuntu. So please let me know when you're ready. Okay, I have VirtualBox open now. Um, I have two virtual machines here. Um, how do I power okay, on I the virtual machine? Okay, I see you have two virtual machines in VirtualBox and you want to know how to power one on. To power on a virtual machine, you need to select it then click the start button at the top. Would you like me to help you with anything else? Okay, I'm selecting this one and then I'm hitting start. Okay, I see that you have selected the Ubuntu Foskin virtual machine and clicked the start button. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, hang on, it's, it's starting now. I need some help with Ubuntu. Okay, I see the Ubuntu virtual machine is starting. Let me know what you need help with regarding the Ubuntu system once it's fully running. Okay, Ubuntu has now started up. Um, how do I open a command line here in Ubuntu? Okay, the Ubuntu virtual machine is now started. I see that you want to open a command line. To open the command line, you can click on the Applications menu in the bottom left corner and then search for Terminal. Would you like any further help? Okay, I found it. Okay, I have the terminal open. Um, do you, you have some commands I can run here to check what I have in the home directory? Okay, you've opened the terminal and you're looking for commands to check what you have in the home directory. To list the files and directories in your home directory, you can type LIS and press enter. Do you need more help with commands? L I S, are you sure? That didn't work. Yes, I'm sure. 
The command to list files and directories in the terminal is ls. The message you see in the terminal is telling you that the ls command is not recognized. This is because the ls command is a bash command and it needs to be run without using a dollar sign. Please try again, but this time just type ls and hit enter. Yeah, ls is the correct command, but I heard lis previously, so that's why I was confused. Understood. It seems there was a small misunderstanding with the command. Now that you've run ls, you can see the directories in your home folder. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Okay, I see I have a folder called Pinocchio here. How do I go into that folder? Okay, I see you have a folder called Pinocchio in your home directory, and you'd like to go into that folder. You can use the command cd Pinocchio and press enter. The cd command stands for change directory. Do you need further assistance? Okay, I managed to do that. Great, it seems that you have successfully navigated into the Pinocchio directory. Is there anything else you would like to explore or do within this directory? Uh, how, how do I start the Pinocchio user interface? I understand you want to start the Pinocchio user interface, but I don't see a Pinocchio program running. Could you specify how you installed this program? Yeah, so... If you go here on the Pinocchio website, uh, I think I followed the instructions from the Pinocchio website. Do you know this application? Okay, I see that you have opened the Pinocchio website in your browser. It seems to be a tool that allows you to run applications and automate tasks from the command line. I am not familiar with this specific application. It appears to be a browser that lets you run command line scripts in a GUI. Is this correct? Yes, I think you got the gist of it. But uh, I, I can't remember how to start this up. Can you help me with that? Yes, I can help you with that. From the website you're showing me, it looks like Pinocchio can be installed on Mac, Windows, or Linux. It also looks like you are using a Linux machine, as you are using Ubuntu. On the website, under Linux, they suggest going to the Releases page. Can you click there and see if there are specific instructions? There's something about all the launch. Okay, I see you've navigated to the Pinocchio releases page on GitHub. It appears there's an auto-launch option described. It says now you can make apps auto-launch when Pinocchio starts. It seems that this is a feature to have your app auto-launch once Pinocchio is running, but it's not a way to actually start the Pinocchio application. Let's go back to the install page for Pinocchio. Is there anything else you see there? And should we check which version of Pinocchio is installed? Uh, there's an stdout.txt file. Can we print that? Okay, I just noticed that uh, the Google AI Studio stopped responding and uh, it's saying something went wrong. So as, as you can see, this is far from perfect. So you did notice that um, Google AI Studio was kind of very polite and sounded very helpful, but um, like for somebody who already knows how to use Linux a bit, um, I don't think this is the best way to learn how to use Linux commands. Uh, it was making mistakes and like, okay, Pinocchio is not maybe not a common app, but the Google AI Studio is not able to access the internet to get more information. It's just uh, checking what, what you're sh sharing on the screen. So maybe for some apps which it knows already in advance like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets or something like that. Maybe it's uh, quite a bit more helpful, but um, 
yeah, I don't think this is the end of uh, tutorial videos and tutorial websites. This is, um, yeah, this is a, a tool which might be helpful, but it does definitely have its limitations. If you found this realistic video about Google AI Studio uh, helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.